Hello everyone, welcome to a What I Eat in a Day video. This is a weekend edition, a Saturday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit subscribe, that way you don't miss out on any of my plant-based inspiration. So I started my Saturday with a cup of my favorite morning beverage. It is some soy milk, some cayenne, some maple syrup, um, cacao, some beautiful matcha, and then I made baby girl a smoothie, my two and a half year old daughter with all these lovely Hi. ingredients. So I have not ate anything yet, which is not typical for me um, to not eat by this time, but I got the privilege of subbing um, a yoga class uh, for a Saturday. Normally I don't do anything on Saturdays, but I got to sub, subbing this Saturday and next Saturday. So exciting. And so I was wanting to just focus and get prepared for that and make sure Berkeley had everything that she needed because she was going to be with my parents. Um, and yeah, so I haven't ate yet. Um, I just got done with teaching. I've got two apples that I'm probably about to eat on mindfully. And I am, my body is like really wanting a salad. And so I'm going to go with that vibe and I'm going to go um, to the town over and get some of the amazing oil-free hummus. Also had some dressing I was going to make too. Um, or maybe I just come make the dressing, worry about the hummus later. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. But I'm for sure going to get a really nice salad. Um, yeah. I did follow through with the salad inspiration. I did not, however, go several towns over and get the oil-free hummus because I have all the things at home to make it myself. So I thought smart and didn't just act on impulse um but the baby was sleeping and so i was just going to try to extend that time of sleep for her in the car so this is a salad from jason's deli maybe you've heard of that place um they have organic salad bar uh ingredients which is amazing i used to get these all the time when i was pregnant like religiously and um i found this beautiful uh dressing recipe from uh, over at Getting Healthy with Stacia, her YouTube channel. She's also a high carb, low fat, whole food, plant based um, practitioner, if you will. <laughs> and um, so she suggested equal parts spicy mustard, equal parts um, maple syrup, pure maple syrup, as well as balsamic vinegar. So I did about two tablespoons of each and mixed it together. It ended up being the perfect amount for my salad. So I love this. This is so simple. I could literally throw this stuff in my bag and make this dressing at work. Something that's held me back from eating more salads since I've had baby girl has been um, me not wanting to make the hummus or make the dressing, you know, because I'm not going to eat the salad unless the dressing is oil free. I've been doing that for a long time now um for the most part uh but but now especially since i have gone completely whole food plant-based so here it is you guys this dressing is amazing like it it's perfect and it's the great uh, amount of sweet and salty and i just put it on my salad but i've got my leftover bean mac and cheese this is my mac and cheese that is made out of a bean sauce i use cannellini beans some nutritional yeast um some rice vinegar some pink salt and other things i will link that cheese recipe for you below so you can try it out and the noodles are just quinoa and brown rice noodles i always opt for noodles that are only made out of uh, one ingredient or a whole food ingredient and so I just lathered my salad in this beautiful dressing. Looks like it's just like came straight from the store, right? Like it, and the flavors were so good. Like look at all those beautiful organic yummy ingredients and salads take so long to eat. So, you know, cause you're eating these raw veggies and so like you're getting fuller and it takes so much longer to, to get this down. So it's so good to get a salad in. I just plopped the mac and cheese on top. It was nice and warm and I was about to put Berkeley in the bathtub. So I'm like getting ready, eating some of my carrot here. And I'm like literally going to eat in the bathroom. Later on, I made another yummy cacao drink with uh, some of my plant milk. I will leave you guys a link for my joy oat milk powder. If you want to make your own oat milk at home, it's made out of one ingredient and it is low fat. It's literally one gram of fat. I have found no other milk, plant milk that is lower in fat like Hi. this. So it's evening time. Today has been such an off day for eating. It's been so weird. Um, but it's cool though, because like, I don't know, when energy is focused on different things and it's not completely just hyper fixated on food, which a lot of times weekends, that's what it can tend to be like for me. Um, just because it's like weekends are chill times a lot of the times and 
at home, spending time with family, and then it's like my mind's like, okay, food, food, food. So, um, I, I hope that may, I wonder if that makes sense, but it make, makes sense up here. So, you know, hopefully it does to you. Um, so I'm thinking for dinner, I'm just gonna make a nice, easy blender soup. I'm hooked on those blender soups. Um, I've made them in previous videos before, and I'll link it so you know. Uh, kind of a foundation of what I'm gonna be building off of when I do a soup today. I don't have all the same veggies that I used last time. Last time I did like mushrooms and um, onions, which I do have, um, carrots, I have the carrots, and the good base is the fire roasted tomatoes. So I'm gonna use those, some veggie stock, some peas. I don't, I don't have the mushrooms. I think that's the only thing I'm missing is the mushrooms and maybe, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of throw it all in a pot, let it simmer for a little bit, and then put it in the blender and throw a couple of potatoes in there as well. It helps. Oh, I know. I'm gonna use lentils this time. I'm gonna use lentils in the soup this time. Yes, you can help. Um, and it'll be nice and hearty. And I'm also gonna do a side of some veggies, some California medley again, which I've been doing all week as you've seen. And yeah, we're just gonna do that. And then I have some frozen bananas that I've put in the freezer that um, earlier enough in the day, that way they'll be nice and frozen for later we'll make some banana ice cream and that will be nice. So I will get started on making the soup now and it's gonna be so good. Like, and I'm not, it, I've had a few apples, you know, um, but it's just, been a low key day where I'm not obsessing about foods, you know, like what I'm gonna make and it's just been going with the flow and focus has been on other things like my yoga class and time with family. I had family that came by and we've had some phone calls with some family members that's been really special. So Healthy Emmy talks about primary foods and other things in your life that can make up for, obviously not take the place of nourishment, but other foods that um, can take up a, a important time and you know I'm sorry it can take um fulfill your life there we go and so I've had a lot of those types of primary foods going on today um so it's been really really nice so let's talk all things onions so I've shared with you guys before that I used to follow uh, not only Dr. Michael Greger's um Daily Dozen but also Dr. Joel Furman's Nutritarian Diet, and both of them recommend eating onions every day. So if you're on a whole food plant-based diet, I know you've heard of these two gurus. I love all the plant-based doctors. They all bring something unique and special to the table, and I've taken something from all of them. And so onions are like a top cancer fighting food. Onions are highly nutritious and have been associated with several benefits, including improved heart health, better blood sugar control, and even increased bone density. They are packed with nutrients. Think of when you bite into an onion or when you chop into an onion and how it makes you cry. Like think of what it's doing for your insides, how it's a attacking any dis-ease. Um, they may benefit your heart. They are loaded with antioxidants. And as I mentioned, they contain anti-cancer compounds. There were studies done on this um, that dis demonstrated fierce results. And so onions are so important. If you can eat raw onions every day, you're doing so much for your body. So here are the ingredients that I used for my blender soup. Here's all my fresh chopped powerhouse of an onion. I'm going to be using some of those baby potatoes. I'm going to heat those up in the microwave. That way I add those in once my soup is um, cooked for a good 15 minutes. I'll let it simmer and then I'll add those um, microwaved little potatoes in to the blender. And so fire roasted tomatoes, as I spoke to, are your um, grit, your base for this soup. That's what adds so much to it. And again, I got the original blender soup recipe from my sister over on Instagram, uh, oil-free witchy vegan. She's awesome. Go check her out if you're on Instagram. She shares beautiful whole food plant-based meals and she's very inspiring. So that's where I got this information from and where I've been um, getting these blender soup inspiration, inspirational soup, wait, where I've been getting the inspiration for the blender soup. So I added lentils into it this time instead of mushrooms. And you guys, it was even more hearty and even more filling. Think about adding a can of lentils. And the cool thing is, is the ones that I get, uh, the lentils that come in a can, they're all organic and they are salt free, which is so hard to find, but I get those from natural grocers. And I'm sure you could find them at Whole Foods or any of your healthy, um, health focused food stores. Here's my microwaved potatoes. Now I'm going to start transferring my 
simmered soup over to my blender. I always um, tend to make a mess when doing this, so I am being very mindful here, not wanting to splash too much red juice all over the place, but you know, some of it's inevitable, can't help it. So what I do when I make this blender soup is when I, I transfer over um, pretty close to the top of the blender a, a, enough juice um, to where, it, well, not too close to the top though, because you don't want it to spill over. And so I do um, about three cups, maybe three, four cups. And I place a towel down at the base of my blender in case it trickles out, um, which it has been known to do. Because a lot of times if you have a very high blender full of stuff and if it's warm it can just like i don't know it goes up and can splatter and spew everywhere so i didn't want that to happen but i did put the towel there and oddly enough none of it spilled out when i actually had the towel but i guarantee if i didn't have the towel it would have went everywhere right <laughs> so uh second round of soup i added the little baby potatoes and i had another bowl off to the side that i was transferring the soup over to and so i've done two blends um two different rounds of blends and then i put it back in the soup and so you've still got some chunkiness and a little bit of veggies that are in their whole form but overall it's mostly all blended and so I got some of my Cali medley veggies I wanted to um, eat some more veggies even though my soup was full of them I wanted to still um, eat up on some mostly non-starchy veggies but carrots technically aren't a non-starchy veggie so which I didn't know in the beginning of my journey but these are all mixed and you can't control how many carrots are going to be in the bag obviously but you know what it's vegetables it's healthy it's so good for you like i'm not worried about it you know i'm gonna just eat all these veggies and then this plentiful abundant soup full of amazing starch peas onion all that yummy yummy stuff so here's the blender soup and i had a little yellow potato too that i warmed up so it just looks so pretty and i love to dip it in the soup it is so good and as you see um my dinner is ready so it's about time to eat i'm dipping each of these veggies individually in the soup as well oh it's so good it's so good this also like i shared before would make an excellent pasta sauce so um i ended my evening with my lovely cup of cacao mixed with turmeric black pepper some ashwagandha which is excellent for the nervous system and it was a lovely evening so thank you for coming along for another what i eat in the day video your presence is so appreciated if you made it all the way through make sure to hit the like button and if you are not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button check me out on instagram at the busy vegan mom have a wonderful week and i will see you next time.